Oi, mate. I'm starving here. What's going on? Right, Mark. All set for Friday. Got a lot of clearing out to do before then. Yeah, rather you than me. Whenever me and Nat have tried it, we've ended up keeping the lot. You know, wedding cake, Jack's old toys. <laughs> it's not easy chucking out your past. Phil sold the cat. Yeah, just to spite me. He knew I wanted it. I only made nothing for the place last week. Mm. Martin, have you heard about the cat? Yeah, someone just told me. It's going to be a massage parlour. What, another one? Not if I've got anything to do with it. Well, I don't know. Whatever next. Mum, um, some of the traders have been on to me. What, about the cat? No, uh, about Mark's leaving. See, I was thinking I could get a collection up. Organise my party. Why? Seeing as the one last week went so well. It deserves a proper send-off, Mum. Everyone round here's up for it. Yeah? Well, I'm not. Why well, have you got to be like this? You're not the only one who's going to miss him. He's right, you know. People want a chance to say goodbye. Yeah? Well, let them. I can't. I was just on a break, so I thought I'd come and see what you're up to. Yeah, well, uh, I've had a lot of sorting out to do. Right. What do you need, Nand? Oh, cheers. That lock can go by the back door for a start. Right. How's Mum? Oh, don't ask. Apart from being a usual pig itself, she's fine. Hey, what's this? <laughs> Used to wear this years ago, when I was about your age. You're not throwing it away, are you? Doesn't even fit me now. Yeah, kiss it. Ah, fits. <laughs> right letter too. It's yours. You sure you don't want one? Oh, no, thank you, no. I've got a popping to work. Perfect timing. Do you want a cup of tea? Oh, I wouldn't say no. Shouldn't you be able Just come on for a sandwich, all right? Yeah, they're running out at the minute, Mark. Um, what? What's that you've got on? That looks like Mark's. Yeah, it was Mark's. It's mine now. Gave it to him, apparently. He was only going to chuck it out. Chuck it out? Oh, well, what's the big deal? He didn't want it. Well, I wouldn't expect you to understand. You're too right. Martin! But it's true. Nothing she says or does anymore makes sense. It's only wonder Mark's going. Look, he didn't mean what he said earlier. He was just upset. And that's all my fault, is it? It was just a stupid ring. To you and Martin, maybe. But I can remember a time when it meant more than that. It was Mark going on and on at us to buy this ring for him. I thought we just couldn't afford it. But Arthur said, no, we'll wait and see. And... Then come Christmas, there it was, all gift wrapped and under the tree for him. I suppose that all counts for nothing now. Why do you insist on taking all this so personally, eh? Mark's your son, but all he wants to do is move on. Now, is that so hard to accept? Shall I tell you what's so hard to accept, Derek? Being told that your son is HIV, living with the knowledge that one day you'll be here and he won't be, trying to blank it all out every day knowing that I've, I've got to be strong for him should the worst happen. And now he just turns his back on me. Pauline. Yes, it is hard to accept, Derek. This is my mark we're talking about. None of this makes any sense at all. And now he's leaving, chasing after that so-called wife of his. You'd have to excuse the mess. I wasn't expecting anyone. <laughs> what is it? You have to ask? Derek, if you've come here to tell me not to go. I've not, no. All I want to say is, if you really have to leave Walford, 
Do you have to do it right now? Couldn't it at least wait until Martin being sentenced? That at least give your mum a bit more time to get used to things. Well, how much time do you think she needs? A few weeks, months, years. I'm going now, Derek. I'm all set. Lisa couldn't wait. This has got nothing to do with Lisa. Then for heaven's sake, why don't you explain that to your mum? She's taking this so badly. All of it wrong. It's as though she feels that if you go away, you'll never come back again. So at least set her mind to rest on that score. Can't. What? Wouldn't be fair. Trust me, Derek. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, well, for both your sakes. I really hope you do.